Hello, my name is Stephen Platt. I believe I'd be a good fit for the company leadership program. I'm a transactional leader. I believe that when an exchange takes place, it should serve to benefit both the leader and the follower, or in the workplace, both the manager and the employee. And this viewpoint is supported by the Chartered Management Institute. An example of it in the workplace would be that the employee expects that for meeting their manager's objectives, they will be paid their wage or salary, and the manager expects that in return for paying the employee their wage or salary, they'll continue to meet their objectives. And I believe that in day-to-day -day life, when we do favours for friends or family, we expect that in some capacity, the favour will be returned. I believe that laissez-faire leadership is a highly destructive leadership style. This is, this is because the laissez-faire style involves a complete lack of presence and an abandonment of leadership duties by the official leader and this can create stress or power struggles in the workplace and this leads to people taking up the role of acting leader or trying to take up the role and as and this can cause bullying in the workplace as people turn on their supposed rivals for the position of acting leader with regards to McGregor's X and Y theory I believe that most people fall into the category of person X. This is because I run a football team and my teammates say they don't envy me as manager as they don't want to have to deal with a venue regarding changes in the fixture schedule and they don't want to have to deal with issues with regards to late dropouts or transport issues. I've had players drop out at point blank notice less than half an hour before kickoff or having transport issues at that notice. And I was also jokingly called the quote, bane of my life, end quote, by the league organiser for the hassle that my team caused for the venue when I was more laid back with my teammates. Furthermore, I plan my work's dues as no one else takes the initiative to plan anything. And my colleagues often ask me what they should do at work. And I believe this is because they want instructions to follow so that it's not on their head if it goes wrong. Uh, with regards to group work at university, uh, no one in my group ever seems to want to lead the group assignment, so they look at me and I need to micromanage some of my group members because when I don't or I can't for geographical distance issues, um, uh, they've sent me their work at the last minute to add to a presentation or report. I've had uh, research for a presentation sent mere minutes before we were due to present it to judges and I believe that I am a harmonizer this view is supported by West et al as I like to be consistent in my actions and I also like to be quite cautious in my actions and in my approach I like to be quite predictable I like to be in a predictable environment with processes and structures to apply to comply with